Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on Ark Survival Evolved. And that is right, I am rocking the brand new tech gear that just dropped in patch 254. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first heard about the tech gear, I was like, this stuff is gonna be way overpowered. It's not gonna be any fun. It's just gonna be, I don't know, something else that I don't use on in the game at all. And while that actually all might be very true, it is still a ton of fun to try out at least once or just a half when you feel like just demolishing everything in sight because, well, that's pretty much what this suit is meant to do. So, with that being said, I would like to do a quick video and just give you a rundown of how all the pieces work and everything. So, before we actually get into the gear, I want you to go ahead and take a look at the bottom right hand side of the screen where you see the experience bar, the weight, the, the water, food, etc. You'll notice that next to it is actually the gear pieces and you'll see that they also have status bars as well. If you go into your inventory, you'll see that they have different air energy levels and what that is is that is relying on the element that is used to power them so the more elements that you have in your inventory the longer you'll be able to wear your suit so keep that in mind it is a little on the expensive side but you know if you're just if you're just using this to play around with it that doesn't even matter but if you're using it for like raiding and things uh, you need to keep that in mind just to make sure that you have enough element on you to actually be able to fully utilize your suit so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the suit and we are going to start from the ground. As you'll notice when we first opened, I was I was doing a little bit of flying here, doing a little bit of hovering, and then what did we do? We fell. Do 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 and landed and watch the health. Well, we took a little bit of damage there, but can you imagine how much damage we would have taken if we did not have these shoes on? So they essentially absorb a good amount of the fall damage that you normally would have taken. Let's go a little bit higher or a little bit lower than we initially were and fall. Yeah, see, we didn't take actually any damage there. So they just absorb the majority of the impact and shock that would have happened if you didn't have them on in the first place. So now we will move to the pants. And the pants, this is a lot of fun. Are you guys ready for it? All right, so we're going to start walking. And then you know there's running. But with the tech gear, there's a little more to it than that. You ready? We're going to hit control. And you just freaking book it. How Awesome is that and when you're in this mode you go through rocks you go through trees you go through dinosaurs You are like indestructible except you can't necessarily always get through like really big boulders because they're big and they're immovable But let's see if these are all destroyable destructible destroyable. Y'all know what I'm saying. All right, so let's get here and then wind up. I just missed all of the <laughs> majority of the rocks that I wanted to get into you, but you guys understand what I was trying to say, and I was able to get through some of these down here. So they are pretty freaking cool. And that'll take us up to the back piece, which we already utilized at the beginning, and that is with the jetpack that you can see here. So when you hit space and you hold it, that is when you start to take off in your jetpack. And as you can see, I'm moving my mouse around and it is moving the direction in which we are looking. And if you use forward, you will actually start to fly in that direction. But what you can also do is you want to think back to the pants. You can hit control and then you'll just power off as well. And however, in this mode, you cannot adjust your angle and you cannot K out. So when you are like this, you can K out so you can see what you're doing. And like I was saying, you can control where you're going. But when you're whoop, when you're like this, you can't, you can't K out. But you can do it ahead of time. You can K out ahead of time and then go into super fast mode and you're all good. That way, you know, if you want a full 360 view of what you're looking at. So let's get out of this and what's fine. Oh, it's getting a little cloudy up there, huh? Let's find a decent place to land, which I actually think we're over one. All right, this might, let's see how much damage we take from falling from that height. And boom. Ooh, that was a good amount, huh? But we definitely, definitely would have died <laughs> if it weren't for the tech gear. Let's see how damaged everything is now. Ah, not too bad. I expected it to be like way more broken than that. So I'm actually gonna take a hot second before we get into the helmet uh, to gain some health back. Oh, jeez! And I'll be right back. <laughs> no! Okay, well, uh, 
I really got to All right. Uh, well, that right back sucked, huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> right back. It did. Anyway, we are all back together now, and we were going to be taking a look at the helmet. So you see right now, this is the standard view for the helmet, but when you hit E twice, this is a view that shows you that whether what you're looking at is neutral, friendly, or dangerous. Right now, even the Carno is considered neutral because I have not yet aggroed him. But let's go ahead and take out our weapon. Oh, oh. Oh, that is a Baryonyx, huh? All right, let's fly our way out of here. But you can see that he aggroed onto me and he turned red. If we had a tame dinosaur or a fellow tri member, they would be green. But anything dangerous to you is red. And then anything that doesn't care about you is white. So where where's that little guy? Let's just get away from him. We'll go. Whoop. Oh, geez, I already hit the button. Okay, so you, what you see right now I'm doing... If you hit control while you have your weapon out, when you want to do, like, when you want to do this, while you have your weapon out, you do the weird, you do that. You fling your gun back and forth. So don't do that with your weapon out. But you can definitely still fly with your weapon. You just can't go, like, supersonic speed. All right, so now let's put that away and get, whoop, get right over here. So where are we at? I think I accidentally went through all the stages of our helmet. So there is the friendly versus dangerous versus neutral. And then here is night vision, um, which it's daytime right now, but you get the idea. And then here is both the friendly, neutral, dangerous, and night vision. Oop, you see we aggro that. Oh, for a second we aggroed the raptor. So it's a pretty cool feature. It's very, very handy because, you know, especially if for whatever reason you just want to take a walk and... Uh, you don't know whether or not you aggroed something. It's really nice to know. It'll be like, oh crap, I accidentally did aggro that Carno. I thought I was far enough away, but it turns out that I am not. So before we get to the weapon, I forgot probably my favorite part of the um, gear here, and that is the punch. So how you punch, you ask? It's essentially just like a crazy powerful punch. You hit the right button, Hit the right mouse button and you wind up. See, this is what you'll look like. You find your target and you just kablooey. You just absolutely take it out. Now what did I aggro towards me, huh? What are you? Get away from me. I don't like you. Oh, is that a little Trudon? Trudon jerk. Okay. So how about we go ahead and want to punch him? Come here. Wind up and... Oh, no, that was an Avaraptor. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I meant to hurt this butthead over here. So you have a pretty good range. Oh, if you hit him. Oh, geez, let's fly. Ugh. My torpidity. Oh, that's a new, like, little torpidity counter. I haven't seen that yet. Let's just get away from these fellas, shall we? But you get the idea with the insanely powerful punch. What is over here that I can punch? The Theron's in. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. No, no, no. Punch. Oh, geez. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. This is just, uh, not working out very well, is it? Please just leave me alone. Walk away. Get bored of me. I'm not interesting. I promise. Stop circling me like I'm your food. Oh, no, no. Get the bugs. Get the bugs. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This just, it's not, you know, this isn't how things are supposed to go. Okay, well, I'm gonna die, so <laughs> I'll be back yet again when I have my items in my inventory. Jerk bugs. Okay, we're good. We recovered from that crappy situation. Uh, oy vey. All right, so I can't remember if I showed this or not, but you could power walk on water, which is actually, I mean... That's a little ridiculous, right? Ooh, and just annihilate terror birds. However, if you stop while you're over water, you will end up going for a swim. But you can jetpack out of there, so like it's not a big deal. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our weapon. I don't think we should land where we just were, so we will go over here and look at it. Ooh, we will land, pull out our gun, and let's see what we want to shoot. What are you? That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You scary. I don't like these guys. We're just going to... We're avoiding Trudons altogether. No Trudons. There I am doing the weird thing. Y'all see what I'm talking about? I just put it away. And you are all set to go. 
Okay, so depending on what setting you have your mask on, you can see it through your weapon as well. So if we switch to the friendly, neutral, dangerous uh, sight, you pull your gun out. You can see that through your gun as well. You can see the outlines there of whether or not they're aggro to you, that sort of thing. But your gun is still in night vision either way, at least as far as I can tell. Oh, Terror Bird. Oh, boy. Let's get out of there. So really, the best thing about the jetpack is just escaping the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get out of night vision, which you can do while flying, which is nice. And just over here, put the gun away. Stop doing that. You look ridiculous. Alright. Let's see if we can't actually really use the gun. Pull it out. Let's go to here and just so you are now white then if i shoot you you are now red so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve shots to take out a level two stego so i mean i don't know what do you think is that a lot or not enough I feel like that's kind of a lot, but because I mean, because it is so expensive, you know. I just think, but you can also hold it down. I was only doing one at a time for the sake of uh, counting. Uh, what level is this Bronto? Sixteen. Let's see if we can't take out this Bronto with the weapon, though. It's gonna immediately aggro onto us. We just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. Okay. So I mean, ooh, it's getting a little overheated there, huh? That is cool. Wait, okay. Where, what else can I shoot at? Let's shoot that bron- Did you guys just hear angry music for like a fast second and then it went away? I thought I did. Alright, let's shoot this Bronto over here. So I see the bars going up. And then- Oh, so it like, it like, it kind of breaks. So it's like on a cool down. So I actually really appreciate that addition because I feel like that actually prevents the gun from being too overpowered. So I, I gotta say, that's that's pretty snazzy. So I think we're gonna go ahead and end on that note. I'm not gonna go ahead and switch it to nighttime for the night vision because you guys get that. You don't need to, oh, falling. Diplo, Diplo Callus there. I love seeing that happen. It always cracks me up. So. That is going to be it for our look at the tech tier. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you going to utilize the tech tier? Do you think it's any of use? Do you think it's going to be a pain because maybe you are not on a private server and it's just going to cause a lot of trouble for you? I'm really curious as to what you guys think about it. I think it's fun, but it does suck for those of you who might not be on a private server. So sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, you guys, if you liked the video, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I've had a new video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.